Hey guys, so I'm uh, out here in this uh, hairy vetch and oats and there's some wheat in here we plant for cover crop and I'm taking some samples of uh, the forage itself and then some soil samples we'll send off and do a handy test on and so uh, we'll see what we got here and we're going to plant this, this afternoon if it's if it's dry enough, we really won't know till we just get out here in it, and so we'll see how it's planting. It's supposed to get some more rain tonight, and for a couple days, uh, it's going to be cloudy and cooler. And anyway, we got a little window. We're going to try to plant this afternoon. So I got this uh, little PVC pipe thing I made here. It's two by two, so we know how much square feet we're getting the forage out of, and we slide it slide it into the hairy vetch down here and we take off all the the residue all the forage above or within that uh two by two frame i'll put it in this bag do that a couple of places here in the field because it's kind of uneven there's it's better and not as good in places there's more oats and not as many in places um, and then we'll know how much nitrogen is in this uh, forage that's actually growing out here that we're going to kill and I'll take a soil sample from that same spot so I left one op opening end on that uh, PVC pipe so I could slide it underneath this stuff it's kind of it's really wild um, it's probably well it's over my knee but not up to my to my inseam there I'm going to say it's 30 inches tall probably um, and just it's hard to walk through because it wants to grab you okay so I got this uh, little bucket here do my soil sampling in because I when I pushed the soil probe down I was just pushing soil there below it and I wasn't getting a good sample so I bought this bucket and it comes with this uh drill bit so i marked where it's got to be six inches and eight inches as you see there's kind of a little hole there but there's well like a like maybe a coupler that goes into and on protrudes through the bottom of the bucket an inch or so you got to push down so it doesn't deliver dirt up between the bucket and your in the soil so it brings it on up into the bucket i used it once here seemed to work okay before i wanted to do the video so we'll try it again here i wish i had somebody available to to hold this but i'm going to have to use both hands and one to hold the bucket still and one to hold the drill so yeah it worked fine but you got to have one hand on the bucket pushing it down one end on the drill and uh, I've marked here because well that coupler comes out the bottom so you got to have a mark you know that's six inches or eight inches past that uh, coupler where it's going to go in that deep so I'm taking these at eight inches I was told maybe six inches isn't getting all the microbial activity and things that we want to check for so I'm going to eight here, I got my uh, temp gun here. Uh, it's showing that soil is about 88, 89 degrees. It's probably where my shade's hitting it there now. But it's it's plenty warm. It's really warmed up. Now, now it's gone down about 85. But that corn ought to come right on up. It's a little wet, really, I, to plant it, but we... We'll see how it plants. We may not be able to, but if we can, sure like to get it in the ground. I don't think we're gonna pick up any mud on our tires or anything. It's just gonna be if it's, if the uh, sidewall is gonna smear of the seed trench, we don't like that. But with all the, uh, the roots and the root fibers and things there up in that seed zone, I don't, I kinda don't think it's gonna, be a problem. I think we can go ahead and plant it, but we'll find out. 
let's just uh, see what it is here where I have got bare soil where I'm just going in between this uh, vetch here yeah so see that's only like 74 degrees 73 degrees but yeah here where I just pulled that uh, sample of, of the, the forage there it's it, the sun's beating down a little bit it's up to uh, like 80 well, it's jumping around now 85 86 so I just turned over a spade full of dirt here look at the several earthworms there there's some more down in there up in the See what kind of nodulation we're getting. Oh, I can't say as I see them, but I know they're probably probably down there. Things full of worms. Well, he's just pulled in with a planter, so we'll get ready and get that set up and see how that's going to go. So we got the depth set close, but we'll have to stop here and, and check it out if it gets to moving. Laying it down a lot better than I thought. There he is. Planting through the hairy patch. really laying it down nice too. So I'm going to come in here shortly like within the next uh, 30 minutes or an hour and terminate uh, well, I'll spray this, this vetch here and, and oats and wheat that's come up. Well, down here in this little uh, corner the creek gets out on sometimes, it is, uh, well, it's up past my waist, and I'm six, four and a half, I guess, but, uh, yeah, it's really tall, but he's laying it down. We checked the depth. It's actually going in a little deeper. I think it's wetter, a little wetter down here, but uh, look at it laying it down. Okay, so that's, uh, Otis is five foot tall, and it's up to your shoulders at least. If he's any shorter, you couldn't see out. So we finished planting this, Travis planted it, <clears throat> and uh, it just flattened quite a little bit of it. Some of the oats are still standing, but now... I'm going to come in and I'm going to spray it and kill it um, and you know yes sure I'd rather 
not use chemicals, but I will tell you that all that vetch and all that stuff is not dead, and that corn cannot stand the competition that have out here. We wouldn't have a corn crop. Um, <clears throat> this uh, and there's oats there and things, so that that corn would just suffocate down there and uh, probably not even make it out of the ground. So I'm gonna spray. Uh, Spray this, kill it out, and we'll keep you posted on how things are going here. This is the field that we're going to use some Elevate Ag products on. Um, we put a seed treatment on the corn seed that we planted. It was a mycorrhiza fungi type um, called Elevated Fungi and Hypergerm. So continue to tune in and see how this progresses. We'll let you know every time we do something here, we'll, we'll show it here or whenever it's coming up and see how it does. Hopefully it'll come up. The whole process is, I don't know, it's kind of scary. About 26 acres here of corn. So yeah, hope, it's, uh, hope it does well for us. Stay tuned.